In this video, we're going to take a look at the Opposing Viewpoints Resource Center. Uh, this is one of our online databases that you have access to through either the library web page or at home through the Blackboard uh, Library Blackboard page. Uh, it's a very useful database, uh, one of the more popular types of papers that get assigned to students uh, here at CAC are the topic papers or a pro-con paper or issues paper. And this is database is kind of specifically designed to do that, uh, to find, help you find material that will either support or uh, would go against your topic if that's what uh, the assignment is, is to find the different kind of arguments for or against a particular topic you're looking at. Um, so let's take a look at the database here. Uh, by default, it will go to a basic search. You can see that here. Uh, the basic search uh, by default will show you, it'll search by subject, so whatever you type in here, it will look for that as the subject of the various articles, but you could switch that to just a regular keyword search or have it search for text in the entire document. Um, you can kind of see down here too where you can change w primarily which type of content you want, uh, but for the most part you don't really need to do that. Uh, there's also a subject guide search, which is a more specific type of subject search. Um, and also the regular advanced search, which is where if you really wanted to narrow down uh, your topic. Uh, but for the most part, you, most people will be okay with just the regular basic search. Um, another nice thing with this database is, is since a lot of times it's looking for people uh, that need topics, they actually suggest various uh, topics that are popular at this time and will actually just give you a direct link to results uh, for sources from that particular topic. Uh, so for example, we'll take a look here, there's eating disorders, you can click on that, and it takes you to the list of results. Um, another nice thing with Opposing Viewpoints is the way that it sorts the results for you, uh, basically depending on what type of, res of source they are. Uh, so you can see here in the first tab is Viewpoints. These are the more opinionated articles, these are the ones that would be arguing one side or the other of a topic. And you can kind of see here, just you can tell by the title that it's someone kind of arguing their particular point of view on uh, some variation of this topic. Um, the second tab is reference. This one is a more kind of gives you more of a, just a generic overview of a topic. We'll kind of maybe mention both sides and it's just kind of about getting information out there. So this would be a good one to read to kind of get an idea of what sort of issues are brought up by the topic you've chosen. Um, the database is made by Gale, the same company that does our Academic One File database. Uh, so it also has a number of magazine articles and academic journals for it to draw from. Uh, so that's what this is, is the magazines. You can see uh, it comes from things like Newsweek, kind of the more general interest uh, issues, but still a lot of good stuff can be found in there. Uh, there's also academic journals. Uh, these are kind of the more professional level journals. Uh, it also pulls from newspapers. Uh, so you can see that. Uh, it also has just basic statistics if you're looking just for numbers uh, on some aspect of your topic. Uh, so that'd be useful for doing a presentation or things like that. Uh, there's also multimedia. Uh, that's like charts and graphs, uh, images, also something that you could use if you're doing a presentation. Um, all sorts of stuff like that falls under there. And then finally, the final section is websites. Uh, this is where Gail has actually gone in and looked at various websites uh, to kind of determine whether or not they would be a valid source for uh, you to use on a paper. Uh, a lot of times professors are kind of iffy about using web sources, but if you are allowed to use them, in a lot of cases, you can feel pretty safe using these websites that Gail has taken a look at. Uh, so we'll go ahead and go back to viewpoints. Um, and take a look here. Another kind of nice thing is, uh, so by clicking on eating disorders, we basically perform that as a search. Uh, sometimes it's helpful to look over here where it says subject terms, and you can kind of see alternate or kind of narrower kind of sources for that. Um, so you can kind of get an idea, say if you're having trouble finding results in other databases, sometimes you can look over here and see other um, kind of suggestions for how to search for similar material. Uh, that can be helpful if you're not having a lot of trouble uh, or if you're having a lot of trouble finding material on your own in other databases. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at one of these articles. Uh, so just click on this one here. 
uh, as have kind of been stated before, a lot of these databases are fairly similar in how they let you handle uh, the articles that you find, if you want to save them for later or how to use them. Uh, so you're not really going to run into a lot of surprises here. Uh, for the most part, the articles are presented as basically just plain text. Uh, so there's no real like PDFs like we have in some of our databases. Um, and the tools to how to manage them are, in this case, found up here right underneath the main heading. Uh, the info mark is basically a way to bookmark the article so you can come back to it later. Say if you're at home uh, browsing on the internet and you want to come back and find the same article. Uh, what a lot of people don't know is a lot of times they'll just try to bookmark the address that comes with the page. Uh, and you, for the most part, those are one time only deals. And you try to go back later and it won't work. If you click on this info mark, it will give you a link that you can save that will take you straight back to the article or you could email it to yourself. Uh, it's a much safer way to, uh, to make sure you can get back to the article. Uh, you can also print it out, say if you're in the, at home or in one of the library uh, computer labs. You can email it to yourself, you can download the article. Uh, if you create an account on the Opposing Viewpoints website, uh, you can save it to your account so you can come back to it later. Uh, so there's a lot of things you can do so you don't have to worry too much about uh, coming back to it later. And again, I'll point out that now that we've selected an article, the database kind of has a better idea of what we're looking for, and it is suggesting kind of narrower topics that you may want to take a look at. And again, this is helpful for when it's time to uh, go and do search searches at another database. Um, also, like a lot of our databases, when it comes time to do your citations, um, this also has a tool that lets you do that. You can see that right here. It'll kind of give you a rough citation here, but you can get a little bit more of a specific one by how to cite. Move that back into view. It asks you to pick which uh, citation style you're doing. Uh, so in this case, we'll say MLA. You click Save. Ask you to download it and it pops the, the, the uh, citation that you would use right here. Um, also, if you're using one of our uh, citation tools, um, it will let you do that as well. Say if you are uh, using our RefWorks, this would allow you to export to that, or if you're using some other uh, reference manager, it would allow you to do that as well. Uh, so those are the basics. Uh, like it's a very good resource to use for uh, an issues paper. Uh, so hopefully you'll be able to use it and find material. Uh, if you have any trouble with your searches, remember as always, you can come into the library and ask us for help. Uh, we're help to help you find material and help with your citations. And we'll hope to see you in the library.